So this is where we left off, um, and let's move on to the next uh, few steps. So first off, let me just quickly um, erase the part on our eyes. Do not grab the eraser. I know that's what you're thinking. You're just going to, oh, there we go. I just erased it. No. Bad idea. Do not, do not, do not. Remember, we are using a mask, which means we never, ever, ever want to draw on this. I guarantee you, you will. You will. You'll forget. You'll accidentally do it, um, and I'll have to just come over there and fix it for you, but that's okay. But just try to remember, you only want to draw on the mask. You have these layers with bucket-filled colors for a reason, because you are going to go back and make changes later. You're, I guarantee it. Now, you don't use the eraser, because the eraser doesn't, you don't want to use that on a mask. You want to use black, okay? And let me just make the size a little smaller. And there. And um, you actually do want to leave a little bit of color in the whites of the eyes. Otherwise, it looks pretty dead. So how do you do that? How do you get just a little bit of color? Well, if you've been paying attention, you probably already know. You use gray. And that's the only time you'd use it if you don't want the full amount of color. So eh, I just want a little bit of that color to peek through. So let's try this. Let me get my brush a little bit smaller. I'm just going to fill that in right there. And you'll notice that a little bit of the color is getting through on those eyeballs. And it looks to me like a pretty good amount. She doesn't look completely dead. Um, eh, I probably want to throw some more pink in there. but whatever i'm gonna um do that at the end i'll show you how to do highlights and stuff but yeah that's that's better i guess yeah all right let's add another layer of color um these lips are a little messed up that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and uh do uh let's do the background let's figure out what that is now this one you know again you want to try to stay accurate to what it might have been but in this case you don't really know um so, you know, she's got all these colorful flowers. The background might have been a green or a blue or a yellow. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. So it's kind of, at this point, it's definitely going to be open for artistic interpretation. But try to just imagine what it might have actually been. Don't go crazy with it. Um, you will lose points on this if you just are willy-nilly with your colors and, and don't try to make them look accurate. So I'm going to take my, uh, I don't know, let's go with... Um, it's kind of a skyish blue, not too saturated. I don't know, somewhere in this range. Let's try this. And then again, we're going to see what it looks like when we go to color mode. Eh, I don't know. It's fine. We can adjust it later. Um, and now I'm going to add my layer mask, which is again right here, that button. And it's going to be white. I want it to be black so I don't see anything. So I'll just bucket fill it black. Now remember, when you use the layer mask, use a white brush to add. You do not want to use a color or gray or whatever, unless, again, you only want part of it to appear. All right, so you go in, you color that with white so it will reveal the blue that is underneath it. Remember, we're working with masks here, people. A little bit too intense, but we all know how we can easily fix that. In fact, we could, we could go any color of the rainbow. So you don't need to worry about too much about your colors. You screw up your color. At the end, you're going to make all those adjustments and changes. And um, there we go. I'm using a pressure-sensitive brush, which makes this so much easier than a mouse. So, so much easier. And I, again, I'm sloppy. I like to just do it quick and then at the very end go back and uh, make my fixes. I don't really know why. I think it's just because I'm impatient to see. I like to, I like to see it all come together. and. Uh, is that the sky right there? I can't really tell. And I don't like waiting until the end. So there we go. Now I'm going to go up to my image, adjust, hue, saturation. Oh, I can't because guess what? I'm on the mask. you got to get on the layer. I bet you did that too. Image, adjust, hue, saturation. And let's play with the saturation. Pull it down a little bit. Now lightness isn't going to do much because it's just going to desaturate your color. Keep that in, in the zero range. Because you don't want to adjust the lightness. If you're just the lightness, you're adjusting the original image, which means you're going somewhere that they actually was not that color. It had to be one of the colors that we're seeing here. It had to be. Or it was gray. There's nothing, there's no other option. It's not going to be a big bright color. Um, you know, any further there from there to there. Uh, I don't really like... 
Uh, I don't know, brown. Just playing around with them. I don't know, they're kind of purplish. That's not bad. I have no idea. This is a uh, this is kind of a toughie. I'm gonna stick to this one. Let's let's uh, look at where we are at before. I'm gonna get my history out from there to there. Yeah, I think that's more realistic. Just a touch of color. And again, don't play with your opacity and your fill. Leave those at 100 percent, and uh, just play with your hue saturation. That's gonna be the better option. So we can stick with the realistic colors that are there. All right, I'm gonna just do uh, one more for you, just so you can remember the the um, thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is name it. I'll just do, I don't know, do, uh, hair. And this is going to be a hard one. I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention to all those things on her sleeves and her dress. And, yikes. Okay, so I'm going to bucket fill it. Uh, brown, which as we all know is dark orange, right? If you didn't know that. Maybe, maybe she might be a blondie actually. Let me go with more of the blonde. And... Definitely don't want to go in the green range. I don't know. Let's try something like this. Bucket fill it. Change it to color mode. Yuck. That's pretty gross. But let's see what it looks like. When, and we'll worry about that at later. Add my layer mask. Bucket fill it black so I hide everything. And get my white brush out. Let me switch to my tablet now. And... It's not quite as bad when it's isolated. Remember, the human eye cannot see color. It only sees color in relation to other colors. So when you think you see something that's a certain color, you can't really know for sure unless you see it by itself. So when it's mixed up with all these other colors, it's, it is going to look different, um, which is maybe why my reaction was pretty bad the first time, but it doesn't look too bad now that I put on her. I think I can fix this with some adjustments. Remember, if I go up to hue saturation, it's not going to work because I'm still on the mask. Get off the mask, get on the layer, image, adjust, hue, saturation, and let's play around with this a little bit. Ooh, I'm, I'm definitely thinking going to the browner side of things is kind of working out. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Cool. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with that, and uh, you just keep doing that. You should have lots and lots of layers, you know. I would have one for the dress, and this, it looks like the sleeves would be the same as the skin, but maybe I'd use gray because they're not, um, they're covered a little bit. And then a couple of different ones for the flowers and the um, stems. Don't forget her eyeballs, and, uh, you know, at the very end, I'm going to show you how to do highlights. Thanks for watching.